Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Pensado's Place. We're so excited about so many things. Nam is coming up. More on that with Joe Lamont in a minute. But first off, how about Isotope? Brand new product coming in June. Can't tell you what it is. Can tell you it's a fan favorite. It's got their amazing assistive intelligence technology involved. But you can be the first to own it. We're going to give five away next week, five away the week after. Um, all you have to do is go to pensadosplace.tv forward slash giveaway, and you're in. Now for now, Pensado Palooza, June 3rd and 4th. We are going to tear the roof off the mother, as they say. Special pricing for students and education folks, $35. It's really nothing. It'll be good. These discount badges are good for all of them. Go to uh, the link that you see right below here. Get them done quickly. We're giving away over $25,000 in gear both nights. Hardware, software, plugins, mics, headphones, monitors, laptops, Maybe it's Oprah's greatest thing or Herb and Dave's greatest thing, and we want you to win. Get there early. Who are the prizing coming from? Sweetwater, AKG, Odyssey. Ooh, a special thing from Odyssey. Can't tell you. Slate, Ravens, ML1s, headphones, uh, uh, sample packs, all kinds of stuff. Warm audio. We've got new mics, um, new gen audio, Leap Wing, plugins from Greg Wells, Mike Dean, Dave Pensato. We told you formerly about Isotope, laptops. We've got Omnibus from Abbey Road, Jam Card, Arturia, Tungo, Avid, and more. It's driving me nuts, but we're going to give it all the way to you. And all you got to do is be there and be engaged. Come on. And if that's not enough, we got Pamela's, like 24 Karat Gold, badass boy doing amazing things, a guy who goes from hip hop to literally television and just incredible. Nick Mack, one of our favorites, touring guitarist, runs Electric Field Studio, has played with Post Malone and Louis Bell and uh, Machine Gun Kelly, Ariel Pink. He is a bad, bad boy and you wanna meet him. And we may add somebody else to it. Night two, Saturday night, the fourth, sit down. Mount Rushmore comes to Nam with the one, the only, coming off the Kendrick Lamar record, coming off every other badass thing, got an incredible restaurant, doing so we'll talk about NFTs, the one, the only, the Don, the nuclear option, Manny American. And Manny American is going to blow you away and we're going to give more stuff to you. So we want you to get there, get there early. It's going to be a party. Don't get there and be all like this. We're going to throw down. We're going to learn a bunch of stuff. You're going to leave with great gear it is Pensado Palooza, June 3rd and 4th, 5 o'clock, get there early, Ballroom B, let's rock this. And to tell you more about, and just one of the most brilliant guys in the business, you always learn from him, one of my, I consider him peer and mentor and just all around badass, here's the chairman of NAM, Joe Lamont. Joe. Hello, gentlemen. How are you today? Of course, Good, up, man. How you doing? <laughs> Good, good, good. Well, I don't know if it's like a bicycle. We're gonna hit. We're gonna hit Nam, June three through five, and and you're getting back on the bike after yeah. a couple of hard years. What? Do, how do you feel, dude? You know, I'm not sure if everyone was aware, but the last couple of years we've had some uh, changes in the world, don't you think? Just a bit. <laughs> Just a but we're here. We were here. And you and I, especially during the Believe in Music, you know, uh, virtual shows, we've, we've had a blast doing that. But uh, it's, it's, it. it's time. It's time to go back and see what's new and see what's happening out there. So, yeah, we're, yeah. we're excited. Uh, June, it's just coming up. We're about six weeks away. We're ready to load in. I'm meeting with all the planners today on on-the-ground logistics and labor and hotels. And it's, it's all coming together really well. What, what folks won't know, um, and I had the advantage of spending – just an amazing amount of time with Joe when we co-host to believe in music stuff. During the couple of years of COVID, Joe and the board of NAM kept everybody employed, uh, kept everybody engaged throughout the whole time period. An amazing commitment. Uh, kept active with the reach out and things that we're doing. And if you don't know that NAM does all that, you should. I've learned and been enlightened in so many ways about how critical this organization is to music, musicians, and people. 
um, organizations sort of reflect the people who run them. And the reason NAM is just so incredible is Joe cares, um, but they also put their money where their mouth is. And if you want an opportunity to grow your career, to find out about new products, go to NAM. You can go virtually, but if you can get to Anaheim, trust me, they have focused on making it safe. They focused on making it good. They focused on the experience. And I might tell you, there's this black and white couple that do a podcast called Pensado's Place. And we're going to straight out have Pensado Palooza at NAM two nights there. So uh, yeah. it's coming. I'm excited, Joe. I call it Dave's Super Bowl. <laughs> hey, Herb, uh, if I can chime in, please. Uh, early when I started my engineering career, probably the best information I got was through NAM because all my heroes went to NAM and they, for some reason, they will talk to the peons when they're at NAM. Where they, where that's, you, you can't talk to them face to face anyways, anyplace else, hardly at all. And so you, you get to, to meet your heroes and ask questions and grow and that and year after year after year. And so NAM was a big influence on me starting out completely, completely, completely and totally. Uh, I, I wouldn't be where I am today without it, I don't think. Well, that might not be a good thing. Dave. I can't tell you how many times I've heard that, um, <laughs> Dave. It's just it's just such a common thread that, um, and like like Pensado's place, it's a place where we tell stories. But in this case, it is literally sitting around the campfire, telling stories and helping each of us kind of um, grow together. Um, thanks for the you know the kind of words about Nam. Nam's an association, right? We, we talked about that. It's it's a year round thing. Um, we have. I'm gonna stop my camera a second we do some really serious government work lobbying <laughs> for music education um you know this is serious work undertaken by serious professionals um but i must tell you that the lobbying we've done this past you know year and a half especially has helped maintain music programs all around the country so these mm -hmm. kids who are trying to figure all this out you know who got hurt the most by all this um the kids i think in school who didn't have uh -huh. that opportunity so you know, funding, there was a study of all things that I ever think in a million years, I'd fund an aerosol study to, to look at what type of uh, instruments can be played safely indoors around other instruments in a band or orchestra class so that teachers wow. could then go to the school board and say, look, this study wow. shows we can safely open up the bedroom again. And wow. for the last year, there's been, you know, millions of kids around the country who now have music programs because we've now proven that it's safe to do so. So anyway, I never, I never thought I would be those kind of lobbying things and research and studying. It's, it's honestly, it's what gets me out of bed in the morning. I love the industry. I love gatherings like this. But to me, it was always about the music. I'm, I'm yeah. guessing that's true of a lot of people. Yes. Um, but to me, so that's that's really the fun part. But these gatherings are where we all come together and, and push everything forward together. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And look, this was a really tough time. I've been doing this a long time. You guys have. None of us have seen this before. I mean, to actually cancel a show, like I said, it goes back to World War II in our mm -hmm. world. And mm -hmm. so people are asking me a lot of stuff like, what's the show going to be like? And is it big or small? Is it like 2020? And, and, and I think I start by saying everything's different. The world is different. And, and if it yeah. were the same as 2020, I don't think that'd be even reflective of where we're at as people. You know, we've all changed. Yeah. But I wanted to, you know, share a little bit, if I could, about why June? Because, I mean, that's just like freaking us out. Wait right. a minute, I'm showing June. It's like, wait a second. What it's, the hell? Our DNA is about January, launch oh, of the year, yeah. new product. You know, or we've just made all our new resolutions. The the businesses have had a great Christmas and holiday selling season, and they're coming in to look at what's new and buy everything. The manufacturers have been working all year to launch new products, and the, the whole cycle's off. But I was reading a book. It's um, it's called The Hero of a Thousand Faces. It's really interesting. This writer talked a lot about, and it's influenced everyone from Star Wars to Lord of the Rings. I mean, all this stuff is the hero's journey. So the hero's journey of our show was 2020 was the largest gathering in NAMM show history. And oh, yeah. it was a pinnacle of a lot of things. We gathered truly the global industry together uh, as a, we had hoped for, for years and years and years. And it actually worked really well. Then the pandemic hit. So that was 2020. 2021, we had to cancel completely. There was just wow. no way in California we were prohibited from doing events like that. And so when we were planning 2022, it was like, do we cancel another year? Do we just 
put everyone on the shelf and, and ice the thing? Or do we try and move it? We couldn't go in January. The governor was still saying no large events in California. And this is back in the way, the summer of 21, we're trying to lead into this, right? right. Um, and we said, let's try June 22 to at least get everyone together for something, you know? Mm-hmm. And that's how we put a stick in the ground for June of 22, which is now six weeks away. Then we said, well, we need to get back to January, but how soon can we get there? Can we go January 23? Like, well, and I'm just sharing kind of the thought process. Wow, what if there's another variant? That would be terrible. Um, six months after the last show, well, then they haven't really had enough time to create new products then. Well, let's go a bridge. Let's build a bridge. So that was April of 23. Mm. And then bridge back to January of 24. So if you look at the hero's journey when, you know, Frodo left the Shire, 2020, a great event. And, and I think very powerful for the industry and probably propelled the industry into a very successful in many ways Phase. period during the pandemic. Now, live, yes. obviously not so much, but uh, school music ended up being strong. Guitar sales went through the roof. It was probably one of the biggest years in industry history of, of 2021, ironically, mm-hmm. uh, for products. Bridge to 22, let's do something. It'll probably be half the size we had in 20. 20 mm-hmm. half the mm-hmm. show floor half the registers now i don't know for sure we're still out people are making last minute decisions it could be bigger who knows right. um april of 23 get nine months between those and then by 24 the hero is back <laughs> to his yeah. his yeah. his spot you know um yeah. but that's a four-year journey that's unbelievable and the 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 foresight to to plan into the unknown that's not easy because there's uh. dollars that are spent there's commitments there's it's just I, I you know, in our little ecosystem, we do our version, and I've had a chance to get some insight into your version. And and the thing that I think is exciting about all that one is that there's stewards over it, but two, I we see new products. Yeah, we see new things. Are you seeing at the Nam Show new who's things? Exhibiting our companies with new products. That's who's coming. Wow, the companies with new products are coming because they want to make a splash. And um, they're going to do so. And I think uh, that's going to be the most exciting things to see yeah. is the companies that are coming there. And by the way, everyone who's not there is going to be walking around anyway. The whole We are going to gather everyone together. Even Absolutely. if it's a little smaller, you will see every principal, every key Absolutely. participant, the player. So it's going to be cool. And new people. I can't wait to new, see new people, new friends, new contacts, yeah. new opportunities, yeah. and new products. Um, so I, I look at this as this is new. And if you're into new, not everyone is, this is new. And that's why you're going to want to be there in June. We, we are certainly seeing on our end that our audience, the younger side of our audience, the really current, they are much more aware of NAM. They look forward to going. They know they're going to see their contemporaries there. Um, we've, we've seen a distinct move as to how this has value and not just amongst the talent, like the gatekeepers and the other people, and they're, you know, they're hitting us up for tickets and stuff. And um, that that's always a good sign when you, when you see folks doing that. So um, yeah, I'm excited, there's, man. There's, new, there's young Daves walking out there. There's young Herbs. There's young Joes, you yeah. know, of all types, all around the world. And we owe it to them. In my opinion, that's what we're a service, right? We mm-hmm. serve. That's what you do. You serve. Mm-hmm. And we owe it to this upcoming generation and, and to new people to say, this is a place for you. You're mm-hmm. welcome here. This is mm-hmm. a, a wonderful life. I think, what have we learned out of the pandemic? You know, you never want to do a job that doesn't suit you. You never want to spend your life's energy, the one thing you have, doing something that doesn't rock your world. Yeah. This rocks your world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. We want to Definitely. bring them up and give them that place. So I, I definitely feel this is um, the changes are are so important for now for us to encourage and welcome and, and grow this next generation. And that's what you're going to see mm-hmm. in Anaheim in June. Mm-hmm. Joe, um, I, don't, I don't know if this is the right place, the right time to ask this, but uh, 2021 software has just exploded and it's getting bigger than ever. Plugins everything have you thought about a way to enhance that this year because previous years it's been smaller but it's gaining it's gaining yeah have you thought about i don't know if you guys know ray williams from Imps yeah, of course. And, and the exchange he's on our board now and it's just been such a great help uh he's really helping us steer how we will approach software in june and it will be larger and and more important than ever but You know, we've never had someone like that on our board before. I think that's indicative of itself, how it's 
taking its place in this ecosystem. So it's growing and will be at the show for sure. Yep. Yep. No, it's, it's an important point. We know I've had around a couple of our, our of our councils. Um, I think that um, another way of saying what we've been saying is that it's a really exciting time to yeah. be doing what we're doing. Yeah. Um, I, we see it everywhere. Music is the gateway drug for learning where kids use music to get involved and then they can be steered toward coding or tech or anything else. Um, the music that's being made, the capabilities of gear democratizing it. And, you know, you can be at home in your bedroom and now have an Atmos studio. Um, the focus on education is so big. The programs, we're talking to the state and talking to the federal government, and they now recognize music as the power that it can be and how it can attract people. And um, um, it, it's as exciting as it's ever been. You know, in my funny, you just, it's so it's so interesting you bring that up because I mean, new gear drives everything. We're so we're gear people. We're so excited about it. But mm-hmm. I was just I'm a, I'm by the way I'm a fan of Pensado's place. I watch it. I was just watching a couple episodes recently, and I rewatched the one on Bob Clear Mountain, who was one yeah. of my heroes, and he really sort of had that foot in both camps that it's still about the song. It's still about the art. And I think that's what Nam does really well. If you go to Nam, you're going to mix the new gear and the drive for this. What do these eight different settings do with hearing people like Dave and others talk about the craft? Absolutely. There's still the song. There's the there's Absolutely. the art and the science. And I think that's what Nam does really well. And I, we don't want to grow a generation of people who only know the science. We definitely that's want right. to make sure that they understand the, the art. It's a yeah. both thing. And that's why music is so different, so special than just maybe a tech company or something, you know. As, as the hip hop guys would say in keeping it 100, <laughs> we say uh use the tech don't let the tech use you yeah like you're you're germane to the process your gut your emotion the the voice the song that's the leave space in the middle i mean uh, you know as i was coming up in catholic school they used to when you'd we'd have these dances they'd always make sure we had leave room for jesus (laughs) when you're dancing (laughs) too close you know (laughs) leave room for the song leave room for the vocals (laughs) that's right it sounds like my house. Same idea. Different things. <laughs> exactly. <same idea. laughs> That's right. That's exactly right. Um, Holy Spirit's in there. Yes. <laughs> well, you, you know, one of the fun parts about our business, which you know is, and particularly when we're talking to people who are young, young producers or not so young, you know that sometimes the mistake becomes the hook. Yeah. That character moment that you didn't intend to all of a sudden becomes the foundation for stuff. And you have to have yourself open for that your ears open for that your gut your heart you have to feel those things you can't make an algorithm make it happen you could but it would suck those are real moments and and you're absolutely right that <clears throat> that balance between bringing yourself excuse me that balance between bringing yourself to the table and having technology enhance it yeah that's the goal yeah and when you feel it, man, your technology just gets better yeah. as opposed to the other way around. And I would submit that we learn those softer skills, the people skills, the human interactive skills when we're together physically. And I think yeah. we've missed that. We've missed the last couple of years. We've grown our science chops, but we, you know, we, we need to feed the art chops. And I think that's what a gathering, obviously, look, I know I love the Amtra. I've been going for 40 years now. I like Dave. I've had many of my career opportunities happen there. Even when I was on tour with Todd Runger, we ironically happened to be playing Anaheim the, the week the NAMM show was there. So You're kidding me. So, you know, so we all ran over the show. I think uh, Perry Prince was the drummer. He had broke, broken some of his Pisces hi-hats, so I had to go get some hi-hat symbols. So I was working it, but I still, even when I was on tour, I was still able to make the NAMM show, you know. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But, but I'm, so I'm obviously biased, and and but, you know, uh, I think if this is what's called be it called a special edition NAM show, 35 brands, new products, you know, uh, great training from, you know, AES, Dante, uh, A3E, Tech Tracks, of course, Tech Awards. Yep. I wouldn't miss this special edition June. One only, by the way, unless the great Smiter has other things to throw at us, this will be back in January as soon as we get. This is the one off. You'll want to be able to say, I was at that June show. Remember that one? That's um, right. So, That's right. But I just think we to, to balance out everything, uh, the art 
and the human side, the, it comes when we're together. And I think that's so important right now, more than ever. And June 3 through 5, we will be together in Anaheim. Joe's going to come back on uh, another time. We're going to get a further update. Go to the Pensado's place. We're going to show you how you can get your badges and make sure that you go. We are going to have two nights ourselves, but we're going to be promoting everybody else. Um, go, guys. I, I used to never go, and now I would never miss it. And, and actually, before we get away, just because I've had <laughs> NAM treats us so well, it's, it's, we're like family. Um, the lady that runs the NAM Foundation, Mary, what's her what the Mary Lurison, yeah. Mary, Mary Lurison. The mighty, the mighty Mary Lurison, I call her. <laughs> well, she is a bad mama jama. I yeah. will tell you that I have sat here and listened to her talk and been on Zooms with her and the worldwide stuff that we did and believe in music. And that NAM Foundation, the way she runs it, is just impressive. It's just impressive. Thank you. And so if you're 22 and you're making hip-hop records or you're making country bro records, whatever the case may be, there's a place for you here, and you're going to grow from this. Gear, education, relationships, as Dave said, meeting your heroes, or come by Pensado Palooza, and we are going to have a absolute blast. Joe, you got to come by. Um, his name is Joe Lamont, and everything that you just got in 20 minutes, you should get a couple of hours of it because you'll be better for it. And make sure you get to NAM. We will help you get there. And Joe, you got to come back on and talk to us some more. I will. I'm heading out on the motorcycle, but I'll be back. Uh, I'll come see you drive soon. Drive safe. <laughs> Tell Steph we said hello. Uh, be good with the fam. We'll talk to you shortly, dude. Bye-bye.